Dead tribals look the same to me. Shield yourselves, gang! If they like that signal, they're not going to lose. They've taken the travelers captive. Go! Crash now! They're gonna wipe us out! Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later, in the calm. It's a call to arms, from your inner desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently, called an investigation into war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered... to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. What were these things you did, Nil? Acceptable things, under the circumstances. <sighs> Acceptable to who? I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. They sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of Karja ritual? No, no. Sunstone Rock is a prison, south of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation, as am I. In the heat of a stone cell, in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow, Nil. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a Karja wedding. I'm never lonely where there's killing to be done. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. This has to be the Banuk camp that Vogan told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. It's like they've already been overridden. In Ban Ur, they already sing songs about the hunts I've completed. Sing to the glaciers. May there be songs in your name. Shaman, 
You're trying to understand the machines here, too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Perhaps the machines are glad to be separated from their herds, too. We should head north. North where the ice and snow calls. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. I am the best hunter of my Wirek, and none shall wrest that honor from me. I'd better look into it. Getting thinner. Hard to believe the Banuk live further north. Talks are just waiting. A good sign, I guess. Hey, oh, you're chopping shard purses. Did Vilgan send you? <sighs> I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. Look, we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. You bunch of chuff skull. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart.
No, they've already started attacking. The hunt is back. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. Oh, too late for you to run! Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. He's not going to be happy about this. I'm in a stinking mood. Next fool to cross me, I wish he didn't. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us, between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone, and we are left with many songs, but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps, one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Back from the wilds. Find any Banuk relics? You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak. A legendary hunter, who was exiled from Ban-Ur for killing his chief? He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero, and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them. If you have any. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. Outlander, are you looking for- Wait, I know your face. <laughs> you came back. <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? <laughs> what do you want? Carja silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings. Jundral was talking about. <laughs>
light. It's like this entire place is part of some huge machine. But who made it? That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? I'll find a use for you. near the gap. What does it do? It looks like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Might regret this. So it's true. Machines are built in these places, but why and by who? That's the heart of it all. It's gotta be. So how do I get inside? I've gone as far as this thing will take me.
Almost to the heart. It's not going to let me take over this stuff. information about different machines. This will help me override them. Side two. Battle is upon us. That does it. Time to take a look around the room. Locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Reconcile, we close. And you might be on point. Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People died. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? 
Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Must have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. What was this place? The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. Guess they were used to it. These wires must run to the power source. Red light. Guess that means no power. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. Oh, that's informative. Three power lines, three sources, that makes one. That's two. One more. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. for answers. Just weapons. Yeah. <sighs> 
That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? The Eclipse, tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out!
of those all at once. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. Oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machine. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there.
Oh boy. You're a big one, aren't you? Four times already. I've never seen a machine like that. Woo! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. It's a bit, uh... Frivolous, isn't it? 